Now, in this part of the question, then, we're asked to show that the cosine of 2a is identical to 1 minus 2 sine squared a. And we're given that the cosine of a plus b is identical to the cosine of a times cosine of b minus sine a sine b. So how are we going to do this? Well, what we've got to do is let the angle b equal a. And so that's going to mean instead of having the cosine of a plus b, we're now going to have the cosine of a plus a. Wherever we see a b, we need to write an a in its place. So we're going to have cosine a, cosine a again, in place of that b there, and then minus sine a, and then sine of another a, in place of that b there. So what have we got here? we've got, instead of cosine of a plus a, we've got the cosine of 2a. Cos 2a then is identical to cos a times cos a, and we can write that as cos squared a. And similarly, sine a times sine a can be written as minus sine squared a. Right, now, what we've got to prove is 1 minus 2 sine squared a, and what I notice is that I've not got any cosines in the answer up here, yet I've got them in this version down here. So how do I get rid of this cosine squared a? Well, we need to remember a basic identity, and that basic identity is that cosine squared of any angle, let's call it theta if you like, plus the sine squared of the same angle, theta in this case, is identical to 1. Now if we rearrange this and make cos squared theta the subject by taking sine squared theta from both sides, we'd therefore have cos squared theta is identical to 1 minus sine squared theta. And we can write this in place of cos squared a, only the theta is the a. So we'd have 1 minus sine squared a for cos squared a, and then we've got this minus sine squared a. And you should be able to see now that we're basically almost there, because what we have is 1, and minus sine squared a minus another sine squared a is minus 2 sine squared a. And that's what we had to show.